Welcome to another installment of Boot Camp for the Saints. Today we're going to take a look at uh, eSword, go over some of the basic features of eSword as well as some of the more advanced, take a look at uh, just the basics of downloading it, uh, where do you get your Bibles from, and uh, anyway, we're going to get right down into it. First thing we got to do is download eSword and downloading it to Windows and Apple is pretty easy. I'm going to go over some of the basics on downloading it to a uh, Linux system. But all you got to do is basically search for eSword in your browser and you're going to hit a couple of these ad things that are going to try selling you all kinds of other stuff. But we want to be secure, so we go right to eSword.net, and you can just click on the downloads. That'll open up a window to where you can download it right away. There's all kinds of other videos that show you the step-by-step -step procedure. Basically, when you download it into Windows, if you've already downloaded it, any program, it, it basically works the same. Uh, if you need any help on it, uh, just search uh, downloading eSword to whatever your operating system is, whether it's uh, Windows or Apple, and then I'm just going to get into some of the things. If you're using a Linux system, it gets a little bit more complicated. Uh, there's one more thing I want to just kind of hit on, and, and this is BibleSupport.com. It basically has a lot of different tools. If you just kind of take a look at at uh, uh, BibleSupport.com, it's got uh, eSword downloads, more categories, eSword utilities, eSword tip and T. Uh, basically, you can just click on some of these and 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 take a look at at what can I download for eSword? It has a, a lot of tools. It has uh, Bibles, commentary, reference libraries. These are all converted into files that eSword can use, can read. And uh, we're going to get into how you wind up using them once we take a look at eSword. Now, with a Linux system, uh, there's a couple of programs that you have to download. Number one, the best one I found is Play on Linux, all one word, dot com. You want to go to this site and then just basically, I'd like to download Play on Linux. You can download that. I don't have to download it, I've already got it on my computer. There, Play on Linux works with Wine HQ. So you go to winehq.org and you can download wine from here. Uh, if you got any questions, you can just uh, search uh, downloading Play on Linux and downloading wine on uh, the internet. Search those out and that'll give you all the information. Uh, there's some really good ones. Uh, I think the best one that I've seen with the proper instructions that seem to work like most of the time is it's floss that's uh, F L O S S or is it F O S S anyway uh, you can search that in the instructions once you find a, a nice clear set you can get into that we're gonna jump right into taking a look at eSword right now and basically, just to get over the basics, uh, you've got you can you can navigate uh, by just by just hitting the, the tab on the left, and you've got all your books in the Bible, and you can just click on your book, click on your verse, it'll open it right up. It's pretty quick. So we've got all of the Bibles. You can easily navigate anywhere in the Bible you want to go to. It'll take you there rather quickly. Uh, the thing I like about studying with uh, eSword or any other Bible program is you can 
basically highlight you can right click you can copy and uh, one of the things that that eSword does is I'm gonna I'll just click over the journal notes here you can paste right into the journal notes and that will if you if if you're using uh, I'm using uh, 16 font 16 size what do they call it anyway if if if, if you go down to 12 you won't have this problem every every once in a while you run into this problem to where it'll put the lines over it but it, if it, it you gotta stick to kind of 12 in there and if it looks too small you can hit this little magnifying glass that'll blow it up so it's easier to see uh so that's that's the advantages of working on a computer you can copy you can paste in there uh if you got your notes all all together you can hit control a it'll select everything you can copy this and then you can put it in paste it into a word processor and continue your work come up with your own studies what are the more important bibles that we have with eSword and it automatically downloads with the King James and the King James Plus and uh, sometimes this works when I'm recording my my pop-ups don't work for some reason the recording interferes with the pop-ups but if you're on your your eSword you hover over these these green this is G for Greek uh, 5613 it'll it'll pop up with the meaning of the word right away we're having a little bit of problems here but you can just click on the word mothers 3384 and then you can go right over to the dictionary apparently a primary word a mother it'll give you the definition so this is quick you got your dictionary which I'm using is a Strong's concordance there's other dictionaries and concordances you can download and uh, the right this is the only one I use so it's it's the only option otherwise there'd be more options up on the top there were you could flip from an English dictionary to some of the other dictionaries that they offer on here so uh, it's convenient <laughs> it helps a lot it's a quick it's designed uh, to be used as a, a quick study tool I typically use the NLT I prefer the modernized English translation and as you can see on here I've, I've got all of these words highlighted uh, I, I use this particular blue as kind of a, a date timing because I think dates especially if you're working with prophecies any words that relate to any kind of timing or date are important so never young older younger younger uh, what we're doing is is basically looking at uh, when we highlight these things we get the main theme it helps you to see the main theme in this particular chapter uh, this one is man men mother father women children grandchildren parents so you see it has to do with with family and I don't want to get into that too deeply we just want to take a look at the features that eSword has right now uh, basically people I want to just want to show you how to highlight things on here uh, I'm gonna switch over to a Bible that I don't have highlighted and if you want to highlight these 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 things you want to go into uh, let me see this is tool you, you want to go into Bible you want to go into markup and you want to hit you, you can you can have a number of 
of uh, Bibles highlighted in different ways. You can mark them up any way you want. And uh, I've got this one I just named today, which is Delete Later. I'm going to open this one up. Or you can go into this, you can mark up, you can hit New, you can call this whatever you want, hit the Save, and it'll save it into your files. And then you can go back and reference your markup. Anyway, what you do is you just click or double click on a word and you can start highlighting it. Uh, like I said, I like to use these, these timing words, these words that have to do with timing with, with this particular blue. And you can go through and highlight your entire Bible. And once we start getting into something like a family, I'm going to show you a little trick here. You, you this is like a color palette thing. It, it kind of looks like a pizza or a cookie, but it's a color palette thing. It gives you the basic colors that you can choose. I don't know how many of these are. These got to be like uh, eight times six, 48 different colors. You can go into different custom colors. So we can get into this grayish blue and we can hit OK. And guess what? It turns into this grayish blue. And we can hit that. And this is going to stay with the same color. The last color you put in here is going to stay on there. So uh, you can go back and forth between these. Uh, uh, if you got to change the color, you click on here to keep the same color. You bring this down to get the other color. So we want to change back to uh, the elder of the men. So just basically practice with this. We're going to get into the same one with his brethren. So we hit it again. Elder, we're, we're, we're back to... Nah, I'm kind of messing this up, but you get the general idea. Uh, what do we do? We, we Elder, elder, women is basically getting back into this uh, other color. We got to click on here, go into what did we use before, this one okay but you can basically go through and it takes a little bit of practice to uh, develop a rhythm to highlight this but it's 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 saving it in here and so every time you switch to this uh, particular markup it'll be in there uh, this is the one I typically use so if I hit this one I hit open oh what happened to everything I just highlighted well then you just go back in your markup and you hit the open and I save this one as a delete later and I open it oh here we go so that's that's one of the features that I really like about eSword is you can highlight your Bible. Uh, when you highlight, you want to highlight uh, words that are the same, similar, related. And as we can see, fathers related to uh, men. I highlighted this one the wrong color. Let me see if I can get this one back. The men, a uh, tiny one. I'm going to just change this one back to this blue over here. And uh, you can basically pick out your own colors. There's no right way. There's no wrong way. The best suggestion I got is pray to the Holy Spirit. Get a little bit of guidance. Uh, give it some thought. Uh, sleep on it for a night. Pray on it for a night. Get up the next day and start on it. And and there's a really cool feature that, that uh, eSword has that it's going to take you more than a year to go through and highlight the entire Bible. And you're never going to get it right the first time. So as you go through and as you're, you're studying more and more, you're going to see words that you missed. 
and you're going to see mistakes that you made, don't worry about it. Uh, you can keep on correcting it, changing it, as long as you've got the right Bible markup here uh, active, that's where you're going to save it. Okay, so a really cool feature when you're going through and highlighting your, your Bible and marking it up and you can't remember where you left off, well, eSword included a really good feature that it's called bookmarks and these are these little uh, scrolls on the side here and if you just hover over them it's going to show most of them are set to John 316 originally by default uh, the last one that I bookmarked was first Peter 116 when I was just playing around trying to get this ready if you just hover over it and right click Oh yeah, on uh, 1st Timothy 5 1 we left off on well this shows 1st Timothy 5 1 so you can use these bookmarks to remember where you left off or if you're reading through the Bible where you left off with that or you can just bookmark some verses that you want to bookmark so use these tools the way you want be creative uh, the best thing is just get into it and, and start using it. Uh, one of the things that uh, I've done is I've got two laptops and uh, one of them, I don't know what happened to it. Something got in there, locked all my files. I didn't, uh, I tried fixing it, couldn't get it done. I figured, oh, I'm gonna work on it next day. So I shut down my computer, start next day, and I couldn't get into anything. Took three days trying to fix it. Finally, I just uh, put on a whole new system. I put on the latest Linux, Ubuntu 22.04. Well, what I had to do is make a, a, a thumb drive for it. And once I had the thumb drive made, I had to get into the BIOS and if you remember that from your old DOS days, on um, that particular computer, you start it, and I had to press F8, and you keep on pressing it, or you, you, you'll hold it, and it'll open the BIOS. And then, if you've got your thumb drive in, plugged into the computer, it'll give you the option of uh, boot through thumb drive. Set that up as number one and it'll boot it in the thumb drive and you can either supposed to have a recovery made but I didn't think you know what could possibly go wrong I didn't have a recovery disk made but I was able to install a new operating system and there's still problems with it I gotta straighten out but uh, another problem occurred on my Asus computer my backup computer that's that's probably better but it's it's heavier it weighs probably four times as much older computer computer older laptop it has a CD drive and and anyway uh, that one would not write I had uh, Ubuntu 20 point something and then uh, I couldn't get the uh, new Ubuntu operating system the right to a thumb drive. So I checked out the internet and then it says, oh, well, that version has troubles writing to a thumb drive. So I had to upgrade, which took like four or five hours. <laughs> anyway, uh, what does this have to do with eSword? Well, the new, the, the, the other computer, the Levano, or Levino, whatever you call it, that one I put on a whole new operating system and I added play on Linux and I added wine and I tried to get eSword to work. I still can't get eSword to work so I still got to work on that. I'll probably do another video if I ever find that one out. But on the Asus 
I had eSword on there and I just did an upgrade to upgrade to Linux 22.04. Guess what? Obviously you can see the uh, uh, eSword still works. So just keep in mind if you're working with Linux, it's kind of a headache, but it's a little bit more advanced. If you're working with Windows or Apple, it shouldn't be a problem. And don't ask me how to load or, or upgrade or whatever on, on Apple. I've never worked on an Apple computer. Okay, so we kind of covered with uh, upgrades of eSword to a new computer. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to kind of tell you is back up your file systems on eSword because that's, that's really important. You never know what's going to go wrong and if you are going to buy a new laptop or a new computer or go on to a tablet. I don't know if it works on a tablet or whatnot, what the operating systems are on there. But you've got all this information and, and you got all these highlighted things and, and, and you've got all these notes and you got all your references and everything. And you got eSword laid out exactly the way you want it. You've got all of these different Bible versions and uh, so you want to take this and transfer it over another computer or you want to do an upgrade or something and even before you upgrade eSword or you upgrade your operating system or something you want to make a backup of all your eSword stuff. Well w one of the things is <coughs> you want to open up your, your file explorer and you want to search eSword and that's going to give you all the locations that your eSword's located. Of course mine has a lot more because I got uh, eSword kind of backed up in a couple of different ways. Uh, not really plan that out well so you might want to plan that out you know to the best of your ability. Well once you find all these eSword things you got to find the right one to where you have your your Bibles uh, stored and this first one that I open up you can look right up here I got it my OS operating systems which is the old C drive because I, I, I took a Windows computer and added Linux to it that I'm running side by side so I called mine one docs miscellaneous docs in eSword. Uh, what you want to do, this is this is really my my backup, my main backup system because uh, you can see if you looked at the other one it has 132 files I believe. But what you want to look for is you want to page on down until you see a let me just get down because I know there's a King James. Okay, this uh, J2000 context dot OVLX, that's my main markup Bible to where I, I marked up and highlighted the whole NLT. So I know this is one I definitely want to save. And then uh, here's, here's a King James version. It's a BBLX, which is the Bible file, all right. Now I've I've got this in here, and this these are the ones that I want to copy and save into a, a new eSword. But I've got all these other Bible versions. Okay, let me go back to here, and I've got 69 unused ver versions. So I got 69 Bibles in here. These are just the Bibles that I bought or I saved and everything and, and, and I've got all these different versions but there's no sense on on filling up your eSword with you know every single Bible version that you got. Stick to a couple of ones that you can compare. As a matter of fact you can click on it compare or you can click on uh, parallel and that'll give you the different versions either that or you can quickly 
uh, just just click between you know the different Bible versions to see the different translations. But the main point is 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 back up oh, back up your system. And on the Linux, this is the system that I'm using. This is well, this is another backup system. Uh, I saved this one as February 2017, and it's uh, eSword and Wine. This is basically a copy of the system I'm using, so I can quickly back it up and keep it up to date, date in case I do any changes or anything to it, or add any extra files. The system I'm actually using is under the operating system, which would be like your C drive, uh, program files, the x86, and under the eSword folder, that's where you're going to find all your tips, that's where you're going to find your, your, your Bibles, your King James Version, your King James Plus, plus whatever maps you saved. Uh, and this basically and it has your your topic notes so this is base and, and, and your references so uh, this is all really good this is the one you wanna uh, find because you can take your 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 saved versions and you can you can copy out your Bibles copy out your notes copy all this stuff and once you find it you can just uh, copy all that stuff and paste it right into here and boom you restart your eSword you're gonna have all your stuff in there just the way you had it before so that's important information if uh, you wanna add eSword to another computer or something like that now one of the questions uh, you should have in your mind is how where do I go to get Bibles uh, like I showed you before is when we go to our browser this uh, eSword downloads on this Bible support is probably one of the best websites because you can get what do they got here? 354 Bibles. So you can click on the Bible page. You can get all these different Bibles that you can download. Uh, you can just uh, get, in, get into ancient Bible text, early English, foreign languages. There's 545 files here. So if it's not on here, you probably don't need it, which is the old saying. Uh, so you get you can go into these and you can download these. You can take a whole day by by going over them. I just want to click on these ancient Bible texts because I really haven't looked at this before. But uh, just wanted to take a quick look and what's available. So you can go back to uh, And, and, and just kind of take a look at, at uh, what's on here. There's all kinds of commentaries, there's all kinds of studies that people put up and everything to get your message board, your tutorials. But right in eSword, what we've actually got, uh, you, can, you can look at all these different things and these pull downs and all this stuff. Uh, basically, remember the old DOS computer my kid was five six years old and and she would be telling me things on these programs and stuff that I didn't even know about and it didn't take me long to figure out why she learned so much uh, from 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 the computer uh, number one she could she could read by the time she was five years old uh, number two she found out all this stuff because she wasn't afraid to start clicking on things <laughs> You know, uh, she wasn't worried about breaking a $3,000 computer. <laughs> so, exploring, uh, nothing ever went wrong. So, 
but we can just click on this download and all you gotta do is click on one of these and and we're just gonna click on Bibles and give it a minute to uh, uh, take a look at this downloader it's gonna pop up and here's all of these English Bibles that uh, you can download and this is all of them you, all you gotta do is just click on it and then hit the download and it'll download and and put it right into your eSort and then as you go on down they got the NLT uh, the NLT I think is a is a paid version and they have uh, premium versions over here that you gotta pay for and you can see on here you can either purchase it or it's installed so I've got a couple of them that are installed uh, but you can go through here take a look at, at what's available take a look at what you know spikes your interest and download them they've got all these commentaries I mean commentaries galore this is more commentaries than you could possibly go through in your entire lifetime and then they've got the premium over here again uh, they've got the different dictionaries uh, they got the Easton some of the most popular ones uh, so the Smith the strong you can see I, I installed the strong uh, it's it's basically linking to the version of eSword that you have up there I have a lot more uh, downloaded and saved in uh, other files and then you have the premium version they got devotions they got graphics that you can download and reference books uh, more reference books and you can shake a stick at but this is basically a really good collection you can take a look at that and figure out what you want download what you want it's rather easy it, it basically it's designed as a program that almost runs itself now I'm just gonna take a quick look at at some of the windows uh, that that eSword offers there's these little pictures up here uh, basically you can open the Bible up in one window you can look at the commentaries in another window you can look at your dictionary uh, last one you had open and you can look at the editor so you can or you can uh, look at at, at all your windows together you can size these windows make them bigger and smaller move them around by just catching this 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 little uh, up and down and two line thing so it's really versatile and and this is a program that's used on on uh, a feature that's used on other programs too uh, basically the CSK is the one I use uh, you click on uh, whatever verse you want and it's gonna give you references to where the the theme or the main thought in this particular verse is highlighted or used or maybe explained better in one of these other verses uh, this little window wants to pop up but it, it has problems popping up when I'm recording <laughs> uh, the editor is is what I want to kind of take a look at and let me just go into the editor on a full screen we've got three different options up here we got the journal notes which you can see as a date and if you want to use this one you can save it into a file and it'll save it by date I don't use that one too much we've got study notes that uh, on the first Timothy 5 I don't have any study notes this is by verse uh, if you find a use for that you can use it I use typically the uh, the topic notes because 
In this one, uh, you can see I've saved quite a number of topics. And what you do, let me click on to the three, uh, because I can, I can just go into any topic this one's on Unity. Yeah, sure. I'm going to pick one that did. But here's the thing, is is you want to make sure your little cursor thing is, is, is flashing on, like two lines down or whatever you want. And you can basically highlight whatever text you want to copy. And you can just paste right into the topic notes right here. And it'll put it right in there. Uh, the thing about it is, is if you click on the window, hit a control Z, you can undo. Or you can just hit the undo from here if you want to put it in there or, or redo, undo. You know, you can play with that all day if you want. So these editors are really useful. And to make a new topic, you just go over here to new topic. And whatever you want to name it, you just name it and then hit OK, but I'm going to hit the cancel out on here. I don't need a new topic today. Uh, that about covers the main features on eSword and how to use eSword. Uh, just just to hit on a couple of these. Uh, these. These reference things on this TSK, you just click on it, it'll take you right to the verse quick and easy. Uh, what else, what more could you ask for on, on, on a Bible program? I've used a, a, a couple of different Bible programs, spent as much as $300 on a Bible program. You know what? Uh, they're on a computer I let a friend use. <laughs> haven't seen it in three or four years. Uh, I don't even, I might have those Bible programs on a CD or something like that. I, I don't even use them. I stick to eSword because it's the easiest to use, it has the most features. You know what, the best thing about it is for free. So, you know, I just spent a whole lot of money on a whole bunch of Bible programs that didn't do what I wanted it to do, but I'll tell you, after using eSword for quite a number of years, there's not a whole lot that eSword can't do. And I'm gonna stick by that. So. Download your eSword, put it in there. You got any questions about it, put it in the comments. Uh, there's more than enough videos on eSword that, that you can you can search on on the internet. Matter of fact, you just search uh, eSword on your browser. Oh, man, this thing wants to keep on my search engine is not cooperating uh esword.net that's what you want to see that's what you want to go to download uh go to study apps on google play you can get all kinds of information on there and here's the thing about search you can look at images. If you look at videos on eSword, uh, how to study with eSword, uh, dictionaries, there's there's all kinds of instructional videos on eSword. And if you've got any particular uh, questions, saving studies on eSword, you can pop up in here, you can keep it in videos, and uh, hopefully find a video or something. I mean, we're living in an age to where so much information is on these computers, it's, it, it, it's just amazing. eSword is probably one of the top 10 tools uh, that we're gonna need in these days because we know these days are getting pretty severe. Uh, we always wanna find out <laughs> where was God? Uh, one of the things I wanted to mention real quick in closing 
is uh, basically because I'm producing these videos, putting it on YouTube, is coming up with all kinds of things that uh, they're saying should enhance my pleasure of using to YouTube or whatever. It's showing me a whole bunch of videos that are popping up that I uh, really don't want to watch them because uh, they're videos on uh, how do you know you're listening to God and not your own mind? Well, obviously, uh, if you're just going to use your imagination, you're not going anywhere. But I'll tell you, if, if, if you're working with the Holy Spirit and you're getting into these studies, uh, like you can watch some of these studies I've already got on video, when scripture starts coming up and comparing itself and magnifying itself a thousand times you know you got a connection with god's spirit if you're going to go through the bible and just try to prove something that's in your mind you're not doing any kind of bible study you're just basically trying to use the bible to make yourself right and and that's the wrong way to study okay i'm going to leave it at that uh, there's also all kinds of videos on reaching your spiritual connection, working with your guardian angel and all this other stuff. Most of that stuff, if you look at it, it is so shallow. It's someone's opinion on it. They don't have the Bible verses to back it up. They're not showing you a study that magnifies itself like the studies that I show. So stay away from that stuff. You know, it, 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 it's garbage and you're just in, inviting in demons that are trying to manipulate and trick people. Uh, pray with the Holy Spirit, let the Holy Spirit guide you, link these stories together and you'll be doing all right. You're gonna, you're gonna instantly notice the difference. So we can see all these demons, it's not difficult to see them. Uh, once you get into the Bible and start studying the Bible and seeing how the scripture, the Bible always explains itself. It's not taking one verse and going into a 40 minute explanation of what someone thinks that verse means. That's not a Bible study. Okay, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button. You know, we've, we've got this battle in front of us and uh, you just learned a little bit about one tool that's going to help us in this spiritual battle. We're, we've been facing this ever since the fixed election. So we got to equip ourselves with everything, every advantage we have. Remember, we got God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit. It's already three against one. And uh, we know that the devil could only take a 30 angels with them and if I'm doing my math right that means that uh, God's angels still outnumber the devil two to one so keep that in mind stay safe and don't forget to subscribe and share this